Embrace the fact that you could be out here. They have their money, they have their yachts, they have their fucking Lamborghinis, and they make fun of us because we can't have it. So guess what? We make fun of them because they can't do this. I need you to be able to do this. You sit out here. And when you see them looking at you from their car, when you see them looking at you from their uh, restaurant building, because they know they can't be out here, you laugh. Like, this is our Lamborghini. This is our island. This is our way of letting them know we're in power and you're obsolete now. So I need you to understand, they can't do this. They can't do this, what I'm doing right here, for more than one hour. I promise you. All they can do right now is go from where they got to go and come in. And if they, if they stay out any longer than that, they're getting fucked up. Best believe. So I need you to level up. Shout out to the people who show support. Shout out to the people who hit the like. Shout out to the people who leave comments. Let's live a, a good life. Let's be great. It's only April. It's going to be hot as fuck. And I love it. I'm going to be out here grinding. I'm going to be out here marinating in this shit. And I will get my energies. I will get my DNA upgrades. And I need you to do the same. I deserve it. We sit back and laugh at the people because they didn't want to listen. We just watched them get wiped out. Shout out to my real ones. Let's go. All verse rising my supreme soul beings of the angel number multiverse. So let me tell you this. You know, when it comes to the energy vampire matrix that try to like brainwash a lot of humans on planet earth in universe seven to think that oh if you don't got a yacht or a lamborghini or a celine or a zonda or any high class vehicle or any form of ceo titles then you're considering nothing to the to the matrix society right let me tell you why that's bullshit let me tell you why being connected with father and mother nature getting energy from the sun the moon and where it's snowing or raining and you actually getting your supreme seraphim angelic power training in nature is way more valuable than being so connected and so invested in the matrix society right now we want to talk about the, the movie called the matrix you know of course if you expose the matrix systems and you want to get all your your training in with nature you don't re want to rely too much on the matrix system for anything and you always training your body to be on point then of course of, of course these agent smith programs want to try to shut a soul being down right now let me tell you this man like if you see the way that jet lee bruce lee all the caparea and taekwondo martial artists movie stars be fighting in, in in the movies and all that that's how a lot of these soulful vibrational beings are when they train especially the people the people that got labeled schizophrenic and conspiracy theorists just because they refuse to think like a matrix bot in in the organic portal soul is vibrational matrix man these people who get labeled conspiracy theorists they actually be like these so-called superheroes from a comic from a manga from an anime and all this etc stuff man it's all real you know, like me, bro. Like, let me tell you, for example, when I start getting tapped into Unk Life Melanated Spirituality, man, I start to begin to see how a lot of soul beings are going to be the ones who are going to be in power and be in control when the system crash. And a lot of these matrix people, these matrix people who thought that they was the head honcho, the head boss because they was a CEO or a a judge of a courthouse or a deputy a sheriff a state trooper or all these fraternity titles and all that all these people that fit in the matrix they gonna realize they ain't had shit they ain't had nothing they had nothing on these soul beings who did all their focus and invested all their energy into connecting with father and mother nature right because let me tell you this, I'm, I'm gonna be one of those soul beings who gonna get so much energy from the sun and the moon and all that and watch how a lot of these matrix bots who rely so much on fraternity and sorority and all these matrix false titles that don't even be connected with father and mother nature of this multiverse and they gonna be and these matrix bots are gonna be burnt to a crisp and they and they not gonna be able to sit out inside in the sun for like at least three minutes heck you know, a lot of people that rely so much on the matrix and rely so much on matrix programming, you know, trying to see, trying, trying to see when the next dollar going to come and all that, bro. I'm going to tell you right now, 
these people who rely so much on the matrix man they always end up having broken bones by the time they're like at the age of 22 at the age of 22 individuals got broken bones in their body they're not flexible you know they can't even do a spin kick you know they couldn't even like stand in the sun for like three minutes or let alone couldn't even like get joyful frequencies from the rain for three minutes like that that's how crazy it is like think about those popular kids in college those 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 students who be like in the fraternity and sorority and like you know where they on a tennis club a football club a wrestling club any type of club there is in college look it, when the system crash a lot of those popular fraternity students and sorority students they're going to be the main ones who are not going to be able to stand up to the lights of beings who show up like Frieza, show up like, you know, the fucking blood demons and all that stuff, man. They're not all these mate, all these people who rely on major solid. They're not going to be able to stand up to these demonic beings when the system crash. But a lot of these people who got labeled conspiracy theorists and labeled schizophrenic because we soul beings refuse to think like an organic portal soulless vibrational being and we choose to stand in our power and think with our intuitional intelligence we soul beings are going to be the ones to stand up to these so-called blood demons and freezer like life forms there are like multiversal power level of strength out here all these so-called high level demons that be out here we soul beings are going to be the ones to stand up to them like seriously bro like and this is the reason why i me personally i don't put my invested energy into the matrix like because like me when i was a child i knew a lot of things was wrong with this so-called white supremacist straw man big brother system i knew a lot of stuff was off i knew there was more to life than trying to invest so much of my energy into these false titles like ceos of this particular company and all that stuff like when the when the system crashes down the, the companies will be no more when the system crashes guess what like people who rely so much on vehicles and all these all these different technologies you know they're not going to be able to they're not going to be able to run at all or do backflips or all these other agile athletic things that humans are meant to do we already know humanoid extraterrestrials are already on their mission on planet earth you know being like super athletic like being beyond way uh, w many superpowers and levels of strength man like i'm gonna just tell you right now and then there, there's some people that literally you know s told me that i was some type of alien because for, for me to be able to run for long periods of time and be able to like get so much energy in the sun because like there's people that have asked me before like damn how you be running so damn much and you know I, I told I told them straight up man like I am a humanoid extraterrestrial for real so like it would make a lot of sense you know because <laughs> you know humanoid extraterrestrials you know we literally we literally are created we literally are designed and made for combat made to train to be able to take on these blood demons that run this matrix right it's the same thing i might not be a saiyan i might not be a kryptonian i might not be a uzumaki or a uchiha or a huga but i will tell you this i am one of these supreme seraphim soul gods out here who will be on the front line with my soul family out there that are chosen ones that are known as the walking prophet soul beings are going to stand up to these so-called blood demon energy vampire straw men demon ram slave owners who've been running a matrix for so long in this multiverse and when the system crash a lot of these blood demons are going to get theirs in war with us soul gods putting the beat down on the blood demons these are all facts so like me like when i do get my training in i always get my training in in the shadows i don't broadcast like when i'm getting my training in trying to prove myself to some individuals that's not on my frequency like okay if like if i go train in the rain or i go train in the sun 
doing whatever kind of training it is, whether it's calisthenics or any type of martial art, any type of sports, like whatever it is. Like, if I know I'm getting the training in, that's all that's going to matter when it's time to step up to these blood demons who run the slave owner matrix, right? This is something that a lot of my classmates don't know. This is something that a lot of this is this is something that a lot of matrix people don't know at all. But the people that have connected with me naturally in this in the, in the spiritual realms, and they received my calls when I called on more soul beings to connect with me, they the ones who know. Shout out to the soul beings who actually got in contact with me and actually spoke to me and wonder like what kind of training I get in. Because look, when we soul guides, when we soul guides are on the front line, along with the soul goddesses in the front line, in the spiritual final battle war versus these slave owner blood demons who ran the matrix for so long. Look, man, I already know a lot of these. Average Joe, average Jane, Matrix Box who re, who thought they was the shit with the CEO titles and all this corporation titles. When they when they when the, when those unathletic people see us athletic conspiracy theory label people put in the work against these blood demons, a lot of those Matrix Box are gonna be like, damn, like all the, the people that we thought was crazy are actually the damn heroes. It's gonna happen when the system crash. Just know you heard it from me and a whole bunch of other soul guys. You also heard it from Tri Vision, aka Super Saiyan God Vegeta, as well, too. The same way you heard it from me. But uh, this is all I'm gonna tell you, man. A lot of us soul guys make the most anytime when it's like raining, anytime when it's cloudy, snowing, sunny, any type of weather condition. We we go get it in. We go get it in. Even if it's cold, like, you know, let me tell you, let me tell you a short story. Like there was people one time in Louisiana, like when it was snowing outside, um, they, they, they did saw me do a little football training. They knew for, they knew for a fact that I was not nowhere near the south. They know I was not from anywhere near the south for me to be training in, in the snow doing football training. Right now in my brain, I was training to awaken more of my seraphim supreme powers within my soul tribe powers you feel what i'm saying and you know those people told me like man you training in the snow man like let me tell you a lot of cats they ain't doing that out here so like they knew they knew they was looking at a seraphim supreme being when they saw me training in the snow you know a lot of people's not doing that in the south but shout out to all my soul guys who actually be training in the snow whether you in new jersey rhode island new york like anywhere any place on this planet where it snows and you get the training in to tap into your supreme saying God powers, ultra instinct saying God powers, whatever, whatever soulful vibrational power you got. I salute you. For all you people that's in fraternities and uh, and you try to like invest all your energy into all these CEO titles and all these matrix titles that you thought that was everything beyond this multiverse. You're going to be jaw dropping and, and realize that the stuff that you invested your energy in, you could have invested in to be in a supreme seraphim gods. The way that we conspiracy theory labeled people have been investing our energy into. But hey, a lot of you matrix people who fit in the matrix that are asleep, you're, you're going to see when the system crash. You're going to see. Shout out to TriVision, Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Tr shout out to Thomas Wayne, a.k.a. TPOB. Shout out to the Young Luffy. Shout out to all the soulful vibrational beings.